there was furniture left behind. And rather than removing the furniture, this furniture was actually being hurled out the windows, crashing to the pavement, with skip loaders meeting it and putting it into bins. I think uh, the standard used to be for sustainability practices in our industry was, what do we do to get by regulatory-wise? As a young designer, when I started my career, there was not a focus on what happened with the stuff that was coming out of the building. Demolition was almost something that just had to be done. There was very little foresight associated with it. There was little organization. It was mass manpower and dump trucks to just haul away uh, the trash. I decided to follow one of the trucks. And in fact, they, they did go to landfill. You could probably find carpet that was put in a landfill 50 years ago, and there's still remnants of it in a landfill or somewhere in, in the earth. So to waste that and put it into a landfill, you're creating a lot of emissions and using a lot of energy for something that only gets used once. So this was really a wake-up call to me. And I thought, if this is happening with a large public agency in downtown Los Angeles, this is happening everywhere. I thought at that, at that moment of time, that I could do something about this. And it could be as simple as one person starting. I found that people were interested and curious. They were scratching their heads and a little bit dismayed that I would leave a job when I did at the top of my career for starting something that uh, really didn't have any legs to it. There, there wasn't any funding. There wasn't anyone else doing this. I just spent 25 years in the commercial interior design, you know, practice. And what do I want to do with the next 25 years of my life? She told me that she had made a midlife career correction. She said, I've founded an organization, nonprofit organization called Anew, and we're doing what's right with what's left. And suddenly my, the light turned on for me. I knew that's exactly what I wanted to be doing. With repurposing, what we're doing is taking a company's leftovers or surplus and finding new homes for them, matching them to charitable organizations within uh, the donor's community. It decreases their capital expenditures that you know they would normally spend on furniture and fixtures and materials and other assets and it allows them to do more of the good that they're doing and give back to their own communities. Their connections within the industry, uh, whether it's furniture or carpet, which are two main examples, they really um, have been able to help my clients. Uh, Jewish World Watch is a perfect example of that. Jewish World Watch is now focused in both Sudan and Congo. Uh, where there are active genocides. As a nonprofit, you can't always afford uh, all of the things that you might want to create a comfortable place of business where your staff can be its most effective. What we got, and I absolutely couldn't believe it, was beautiful brand new carpeting for the entire office. Everybody was happy and thrilled and really felt like they were moving into appropriate office space given the seriousness of the work that we're doing and it's something that we never ever could have afforded to do. The very word sustainability implies long-term solutions. We are destroying the habitat for mankind as well as uh, the rest of the life on this planet by seriously polluting the water and the air and the land. The help that we've received from Anu has been fantastic. Several desks and chairs and ongoing office supplies and, and that sort of thing can really make a difference in terms of our programs and giving us uh, the possibility of using our financial resources in areas that will give us the most impact on what we're trying to achieve. LA is the homeless capital of uh, the United States. 55,000 people every night are living either on the streets or in an emergency shelter or something that none of us would consider an acceptable home. That's why we're here, that's why we're doing the work that we do every day because in our society it's important to have a job, that's the path. But in many cases people just need that second or third or fourth chance. The services that we provide are needed now more than they ever have been, uh, probably in the, in the history of our existence certainly in 27 years. And so programs like ANU that are able to help us focus our resources where they belong, which is with our clients, 
uh, are, are so important. Uh, and so support for a new is going to enable organizations like us to be able to continue to do the work that we do. Sustainability should be easy, and it belongs to everyone. A new belongs to everyone. I saw the, the, the just the, the sheer commitment in Rose Torche's eyes when she explained to me what a new and what she felt the new could be. There's a lot of personal sacrifices that Rose has made to, to get this off the ground. Uh, and it's an inspiration to me. It, it is the type of uh, thing that I want to rally around. I want our company to rally around. I want Bentley Print Street to be aligned with more companies like, or more businesses like Anu. What Anu is doing is so important for the industry. I think our industry has moved towards being, you know, greener, but a lot of people are still confused as to how to do it. So Anu sort of provides the how. And so the more support they get, the easier it is for the entire industry to move towards sustainability. Current evolution is the idea that you have got to address the issue of waste, of inefficiency, and sustainability. Anu has, has that social conscience that is necessary. Frankly, you can't be in business in a community uh, effectively if you're not part of that community. I mean, you have to be giving back. You have to be involved in the community sense what that community needs and, and find a way to, to help with those problems. And Anu does that. It just makes sense if you're a business owner today and you have the ability to spend the same amount of money on a piece of carpet or a workstation or a chair that you knew could be broken down and reutilized versus one that couldn't. Why would you do that? Recycling in the way that Anu is doing it is really a model for the 21st century and we were thrilled to, uh, to have the great good fortune of being introduced to them and we're deeply grateful. Trying to repurpose uh, furniture and other business equipment, that's great in and of itself, but then to top it off with using clients that participate in a program like Chrysalis's to help get them back into the workforce and get some meaningful training, hands-on work, and oh, by the way, get paid to do that, it's kind of the best of both worlds. And so that's where the relationship began, and since then we've done a number of projects together. The overall goal for Anu is abundance, so that Anu has what it needs to sustain its overall growth to really build awareness across the nation and to cause an evolutionary wave to change the practice of decommissioning. Starting with the biggest numbers of diverting a million pounds a year, done by four people. So that's our impact. So imagine if we had eight people, 12 people, you know, uh, we could do this work exponentially. It's been the age-old saying, it's not about the furniture. I'm here to tell you that it is about the furniture. It's stopping genocide. It's cleaning up the Gulf waters. It's sparing children and their parents. It's making life easier. This is the power of furniture. This is the power of a new.